Hello Clutter Experts. Today we are going to delve into the fascinating world of Firebase Cloud Messaging, also known as FCM. But first let's understand what FCM is and how uh, it can enhance your Flutter applications. Firebase Cloud Messaging or FCM is a cross-platform messaging solution that allows you to send messages at no cost to users of your application, whether a ap web application or its a backend service. It enables you to send targeted messages to devices in a reliable and efficient manner. FCM provides a reliable connection between your server and devices that allow you to send messages at a low latency, making it a powerful tool for real-time applications such as chat applications. Flutter experts, in this first part of our tutorial, we are going to kick things off by requesting notification permissions. This is a crucial step to ensure our Flutter chat application can deliver those timely and engaging uh, push notifications. So to just uh, request uh, for the notification formations, we need to just first uh, uh, install a package in our public.yml file. So it will be our app settings. Basically just install uh this application for this very first part of our tutorial so you need uh, need to also install all of these packages so we have uh, worked before on these firebase core firebase auth and the provider and also with the cloud firebase so in this fcm tutorial adding and integrating push notification to our chat application we need to install these packages which is firebase messaging and flutter lo uh, local notification app settings for just uh, handling the permission and this http package to just send our request to the firebase server for our FC fcm so that's it please just make sure that you install all all these packages into your project so then we will be just moving ahead so i hope you have just installed these packages and now we will be just uh, creating a directory in our service directory and at this time it will be the notification So in the notifications directory, we will be just adding our all the codes related notification services. So for that, I will be just creating a new dart file, which will be notification services dot dart. And here in this dart file, I will be just creating a class, which will be notification services. And that's it now i will be just creating a function basically a method so we will be just creating a method which will be in request notification permissions uh, it utilizes the messaging instance to request various notification permissions such as alert badges and sounds these permissions are essential for delivering a seamless notification experience to user so let's just begin by just creating our function basically which will be the void and it will be just request notification permission and there you go it will be uh, we will be using our async function because the fcm functions are basically uh, future functions so that is the reason we will be ju just using async keyword here so now we will be just getting the notification settings so we will be just creating an instance of our this notification settings basically it is just coming uh, from our firebase messaging package basically 
so for that we will be just uh, writing this and now we will be just creating an instance which will be the notification settings and we will just wait for some seconds and we will be just uh, sending the request to the user which will be uh, to the user so we just need to first uh, create an instance of our firebase messaging basically so we will be just creating firebase messaging and it will be messaging and this will this time it will be uh, which will be firebase messaging instance that's it so i'll be just uh, creating an instance of my firebase messaging and now i'll be just using this messaging which will be dot request permissions and inside this permission we will be just uh, adding some kinds of properties here which will be alert and i will be just making all of them true from here alert and the page uh, this also be true so if the notifications uh, comes on our application or on the emulator so if there is a notification unread so there should be a page on our application icon basically so that's why we will be just making this true so here are some other properties so we will be just making them true also to just uh, notifications let work smoothly and we will be just making the sound also true so that's it now we will be so after requesting permissions we check the uh, authorization status to determine whether the user uh, granted permission granted provisional permission or denied permissions so for that we print messages to the console to inform us about the outcome if the user authorizes notifications we print permission granted if it is provisional we print provisional permission granted and if the user denies permission we, per we print permission not granted so for that we will be just checking this so so that's it now we will be just checking the authorization so for that we will be just using have the notification settings dot authorization status is equal to authorization status dot authorized so it means that user is given the notification permission to our application so we will be just printing that permission granted and else if we, we will be just also checking some uh, other uh, authorization statuses so which will be there in covers case that will be our provisional so for that we just need to use the same procedure which will be notification settings and this time also authorization is equal to authorization dot provisional if this is so we will be just printing on the console that pro provisional permission granted and they said now at the last we will be just if user just uh, deny the permission so we will just print that user not granted the permission so in the health part we will be just printing permission not granted so we are getting the error basically from where we are getting the error and we need to uh, just add a semicolon here so that's it now let's integrate this functionality into our plotter chat application we create an instance of our notification services class and uh, in the hnet state method we call request notification permissions to request notification permission when the app starts so basically we will be just moving to our uh, this home page and we will be just uh, creating the init state here in the home page so and we will be just uh, creating an instance of our notification services class which will be final notification no notification 
services which will be notification services and is equal to notification services notification services and that's it we are done by just creating an instance of our notification services and now we will be just calling our function which we have just created there by using the instance of our this class which will be notification services and that's it now we will be just uh, restarting our application and now you just see that permission granted it means that uh, the user is granted basically the permission to our this application to receive notifications and there you have it in this first part of our tutorial we have learned how to request notification permissions in Plata stay tuned for the next part where we will dive into more exciting features of Firebase cloud messaging until then, epic coding with Blutter.